Do you ever pour yourself a bourbon, swirl it around, and then start struggling to come up with tasting notes? And perhaps you're also looking for a good Father's Day gift idea. Well, you can now solve both with a kit from Nose Your Bourbon. And unlike other nosing kits on the market, Nose Your Bourbon kits feature real ingredients for the most authentic aromas. You can smell real Tahitian vanilla bean instead of some synthetic aroma that's just made from chemicals. So head on over to NoseYourBourbon.com and enter code BP10 for 10% off your order. Welcome everybody to this Whiskey Quickie, and we're taking a look at another project by our friend Lisa Wicker over at Widow Jane. One now, of my favorite people. Yes, yes. And her uh, son-in-law, of course, makes some of the best food around. So, oh, yes. Shout, shout out. out. Shout out to Harrison Smith House and everything like that over there. Chef Newman. Yes. So this is Widow Jane's Lucky 13 2021 release. Now, this is a 13-year blend of straight bourbons coming from Kentucky, Tennessee, and Indiana. Now, initially, this was released as part of their private single barrel program at it was done at a variety of proofs, but Lucky 13 will now be exclusively available at 93 proof, and this has a price tag of $100. Nice. And then you got that, it's like that cave water or something. Wasn't there like a, that kind of, that mineral water that helps? They got some water up there. They, they got, got some, some special water. water. And Lisa blending, so there's some special things mm -hmm. going on. Yeah, so make sure you go check out the podcast episode that we had with Lisa and you know more about the, of course, her background in blending, which I think was unsurpassed. And I had no idea she was connected to that many people in the industry when we started talking to her. But they also have a lot of great whiskey that they're doing out of there in New York, too. So, Thank you. Let's try it. Yep. So on the nose. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I think the age really kind of shows here in the nose. Yeah. There's some sweet oak, some allspice. Slight hints of like... I think like just like a bread note, just a straight like wheat bread. Yeah, I can I like, definitely like, get like that. say like say you like open up the loaf and you open up the bag. I'm not gonna say you're gonna put your face in to inhale it, but you definitely kind of get some of that. Oh, uh, next time I get a loaf of bread, I'm gonna be like, be like ah, oh, <laughs> there's Widow Jane. <laughs> but I was gonna say there's this slight hint of like I was gonna say like raisin bran, so they're bran bread, same thing. Yeah, you know, for sure, it's all great. All right, so on to the taste here. Ooh, I like that. Honestly, I think this is probably one of the most perfectly balanced ones that they've done because typically when you add that Tennessee component at a high age, it dominates it and you get that mineral note. Yeah. Almost non-existent here. Yeah, I'm almost getting like a blackberry jam kind of flavor out of it. It's very sweet, very sugary. Uh, Man, I could just butter my toast and put some some of this on it too. Yeah, it's drunken toast. I don't know. It's, I like that drunken toast. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah, I think all in, like this was a fantastic blend. I think whatever the ratio of the components that went to it were perfect. You get some of that that high age expression of the oak influence, but without any of the stigma that might be carried as a part of the Tennessee component. Honestly, I don't really taste it in there too much at all. But yeah. maybe that attributes a little bit to more of the fruitiness flavors too. Yep, I agree. All right, so let's go ahead and rate it. So on the nose, where are you at? Thumbs up. Really enjoyed it. I agree. On the taste. Thumbs up. I loved it. There's like so much fruity and sweetness going on. I, I, it's perfectly balanced. It's really good. A lot of great flavors going on. But on the finish, where are you at here? I'm sideways. Like I love all the front mid palate. I wish there was a little bit more elevation on the back end, but it's it's an easy sipper. It's really good. I just... You know us, we're, our palates are ruined. We like yeah. we like some big spicy stuff on the end. Yeah. And at 93 proof, I still think it has a really good finish. It does. But yeah. there's nothing there that is really pronounced or stands out or makes you want more out of it. Yep. Or should I say, you want more out of it. You don't let it, you want more because the front mid are good, but then it falls off on the back. So, but it keeps you coming back. Make sure. All right. Well, cheers, everybody. That is our review for Widow Jane's Lucky 13 2021 release. Cheers. And we'll see you next time.